Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Anubit and welcome to my Let's Play in Crusader Kings 2. I hinted I will be playing uh, a bit of uh, Let's Play even in Crusader Kings 2 or Europe Universalis Europe, Europe, Europe 4 <laughs> by Paradox Interactive in a block not long ago. Um, it's both games I love a lot, both by Paradox Interactive as I mentioned and yeah, they're great games. So I decided to take one of them and may take the other at another point. Um, before I start, I will want to say that I'm going to be playing this as a let's play and not as a tutorial. That means I won't be teaching how to play it. You may get an idea if I see me play it, but otherwise, yeah, I'm not very good at explaining, so I thought that would be the best idea to do. Um, anyways, who will I be playing as? I'm not entirely sure. I know I want to be playing as some kind of guy in Europe, and I know I want to play as even a duke or a count, that means not a king like this guy. So I'll go random until I get some guy inside Europe, and we'll go from there, that's not Europe. Here we are, where is he? Uh, I of course can't find him, Limousine, that's in France at least, I think. Uh, oh, there we are, sure. So we'll start in Aquitaine, fair enough, and turn Iron Man mode on. The basic means I'm not able to, as it states, I can't as automatically save, it'll save by itself. Which means I can't just save, try an event, if it doesn't work out then load it up again. So, let's get started. There we go. Uh, I'm in Lucy, that sounds fine. Alrighty. But yeah, basically Crusader Kings 2 starts in the year 8067. <laughs> uh, in Arkham, that's after the Norse DLC has been added. Um, there is an early, uh, a previous stage about thousand and something. I can't remember entirely when, but at least it starts now when you have the actual DLC on. So we are playing as a guy in the Middle Ages, and we basically want to form, or we want to. This is us, this single province right now, and we are directly under the king, King Louis the Second of Aquitaine. Basically, at first, we probably want to get some relations going, and at some point, we want to see if we can become the king of Aquitaine, and slowly start to conquer the world and so on. Not, not the world, but anyways, Crusader Kings 2 is mainly taking place in Europe, as you can see, a bit of North Africa, and then finally in India after New DLC, I have mentioned previously as well. But our focus right now is Aquitaine, France, Italy. And Spain, mainly, I would say. But let's start and see what we can do. We need to pick an ambition. Okay, we apparently already have a child without a mother. That's interesting. He's quite decent, though. Um, the difference, I would say, the main difference between Crusader Kings just we're playing now and Europe Universalis 4, which is, again, another game by Paradox, is that in this game, your primary focus is on a dynasty. Our dynasty is the Pito. Maybe I'm awfully bad at foreign languages. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I would imagine it's Pito. I don't know though. Um, while uh, Europe stands for, it's mainly about the country in itself or the nation. Anyways, you have to pick an ambition for our guy. That's an awful lot to pick from. I think we'll get married. That's a very easy one to take. So we have to find someone interesting. So, all of these are possible to even marry or to betroth. Uh, you know what? Oh, there we go. Um, and they're all of different dynasties, most of them at least. You can see all the Carlings are more or less in charge of most of Europe. They have France, Aquitaine, they have Lotharingia, they have uh, Kingdom of East France there, also Germany as it's called, uh, going to be called if another one gets it, and then Italy. And they basically have internal wars in the family very often, but at the same time they defend the title, so that means if I actually end up getting this title, there's quite a big risk that they'll do their best to get him back in the seat, because they feel like it should be on Carling hands. Anyways, we should find someone to marry, someone with some good traits, if possible. Um, can, then we can just get someone. Yeah, let's take her. She's might as touched. There we go. 
and let's start it as well actually. Um, we have an unmarried heir as well, our son. We should find him one at the same time. Okay, so he wants to institute limits it. Mm, we'll ignore that for now. Uh, let's see who can we marry him off to. You. Flavour, that's this small one. Uh, sure, let's do it. And we want the prestige. And we can marry you off. There we go, and we can pick an ambition. Awesome. So, what do you want to do once we become one of the councils for the king? Or do we want to improve some skills of our own? I think we want to improve stewardship. That would be quite useful. Uh, yes, we want to proceed towards more. To the animal count, Gerard. G Gerard. Gerard. <laughs> I also don't know. Peace with you. Accept our suggestion. Awesome. And there's already war between the infidels, AI, the Muslims. All right. So how many soldiers do we have to deal with? We have a total of 300 ish. How many does he have? That's basically the question. If we're able to capture any others, he has about the same number. Oh, what happened? Ah, never mind. Uh, yeah, we have eight more than him. So. If we want to do anything, really, we have to see. I think we'll have to buy um, some. Oh, not buy them. We'll have to get some mercenaries going, which we can't afford right now. So I'm meant to be up once more. And see, I, I would imagine that's the best way of doing it. Hmm. Can we possibly kill this guy? Choose a plot, no we can't, no one wanna kill him, unfortunately. So he has this his daughter as his heir. Goes down here in Barcelona apparently. What does Barcelona belong to? It's part of Alcotain as well, apparently. So all of this is a part of the Duchy of Barcelona. All of this is part of the Duchy of Toulon. Toulouse, <laughs> sorry. And all of this is part of the Duchy of Gascon. I really don't know, I'm terrible at French. I know a bit of Spanish, I know how to pronounce most words at least. Somewhat the same with German. Uh, Danish, that's my <laughs> native language, I'm quite decent there. And somewhat decent in Swedish and Norwegian as well. Other than that, I'm pretty boned when it comes to languages. But yeah, we ba basically just need some money before we're able to do anything. Um, I actually think we may be able... What's this? Uh, ah, right. Oh, and my wife is pregnant. Awesome. So, I think we'll be able to... Yeah, we can borrow 300 ducats from the Jews. Thank you. And then we basically wanna get in touch get in touch with me yeah that's for sure i forgot also to use our so we'll have to get a claim on this guy we, i forgot to use our different units oh what's the oh, counselors that's what i was looking for to oh wrong one i wanted that one to click taxes trade is a good so oh, just sorry that's a good one um are we able to lift that I grow more and more impatient with Chancellor, but that's my son. His lawfulness makes him go extreme lengths to avoid having to do any actual work. Uh, yeah, sure. Are we able to? Yes, I think there's a there's normally one up here with quite good, if I'm not mistaken, quite good technology. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yep. Let's take that one at least. We'll just down. There we go. And then we can send our bishop to Rome. Or the papacy. And we've got a daughter. Ak Asinde. Oh my god. I'm gonna miss up a lot doing this. Let's play something tells me. 
Okay, we have a lot of money now. Now just wait till we actually have a, a claim on his land. And then we can attack him. Which is awesome. Why would you want him to lead troops? That's actually quite weird. Apparently our king has assigned him as leading troops wherever they are. La something is here, I think. Yep. And he's leading the troops. Why? I am not sure. Okay, my work has bore me. Conversations with my courtiers bore me. Everything bores me. I need something new and exciting in my life. So I can go on a hunt or I can get a boot. I think I'll hunt. If it goes well, I get a quite decent trait. Oh, I don't want to be depressed. That's a very bad trait to get. So I'll... Oh, I'll get plus one diplomacy as well. For... A half a year. That's not a lot though. Not even half a year. But I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I think I'll change this now. Did it actually do that? I don't think it did. No, it did not. There we go. Thank you. Now we just basically have to get this freaking claim made so we can attack him. With those things. Messing up. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, basically, our main focus will be to capture this guy and hopefully get a duchy assigned to us, or maybe even make our own duchy. I mean, this is a part, a sure part of... Oh, he's, she's pregnant again. Interesting. Okay, it is part of... Bobon. 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 I'll call it Bobon. Um... Which actually is a part of his. I can't make it then. What about this? What is this a part of uh, Dutch wise? Oh, okay. Of Auvergne. Uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so basically, I may be able to make it just from this one. I don't think I can. But I also have to take this guy as well. And then I'll be a duke at least. Then I'll be quite stronger. And I'll slowly be able to force my way into the kingdom, so to say. And by force in the end, possibly attack him, maybe, or force him to, through some factions, to actually make voting an option and make people vote for me, I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. Our king is in war against a few pe people, <laughs> we have some revolts over here apparently. Oh, freaking auto save. Beno, maybe? And he is a sickly child. And ready. And then up against these Muslims here. Against the Sultan of Andalusia. Right here. If you played from the standard um, time before the. Yeah, before you started at 1867, basically. Most of this land was, if I remember correctly, I may am entirely wrong. I can't even remember now. I think more of them at least was, um, yeah, it is more Catholic by then. And if you're playing your everyone, so it's basically everything except three counties are Spanish or Portuguese or Aragonese, I think it's called. Is this Aragon? Uh, yeah, King of Aragon. Aragonese, is that what it's called? I don't even know. <laughs> Could you get that freaking claim fabricated, please? Picks I'm going too awfully fast right now. So we should maybe take one last up just to let time pass. Because I can't, I don't even think I can declare any wars right now. Oh, it's the wrong one. Yeah, I, the only one I can actually declare something on is my king to get independence, and, well, that, that's not gonna happen with my current numbers. I mean, if you look at him, okay, I'll just take it one down so I don't have to make it load every single time, or all the time at least. If you, mm -hmm. 
I could not help but overhearing the Stable Master and the Cartier's animated discussion, something about the horse and the payment due today, but the Cartier insisted to pay the Stable Master later that week. I should interfere. I said in the matter between Gichard and my Stable Master, I tried to be just as I could. They won't speak with each other. Fair enough. Oh my god, another one? Oh, oh it's my son, who already has a daughter. Anyways, the numbers we're looking at. This is me. I have 14% of my leech's strength. That means I have 300 out of his 2,000 soldiers. I would never be able to do anything up against him. Especially if he actually gets some of his dynasty members to help him as well. Then we're basically doomed. So... If this guy could hurry up just a tiny bit, that would be amazing. You know it isn't going too awfully fast. But that's basically what we're waiting for right now to be able to... <sighs> oh my god, that's not what I planned. <laughs> but we're basically just waiting to be able to attack him and yeah, take his land. And slowly take this guy as well, possibly. Actually, we should be able to see right now already what it requires to be able to create the duchy. We need at least 51, yes, yeah, so I need all two of them, unfortunately. And this one is probably neat, yeah. I probably need two here to really create this duchy. Wait, what? Ah, there we are. Ah, uh, yes, I need 51, so that is two thirds, yeah. The peasants told the whole castle about a dragon they saw in the forest, and how eager young men keep nagging me about a true dragon hunt. Some gold might shut them up. Fear some dragon. Thou doth not scare me. Dragons do not exist. Right? I will kill it and hang it over the hearth. Ah, uh, let's see. One marshal is actually not so bad, but he is quite old. I actually don't know. Hmm. Ah, if it, I'll take another one. He has quite good stats, my son, in fact. I have to hope he gets a son as well. That would be easier to raise, so to say. Um, people are not too pleased with... Uh, what the heck are they called? Female rulers. <laughs> I don't think that'll work out too well for him to go out on his own. God, this takes forever. How big are the chances of him actually fabricating something? Uh, six per year. That's not an awful lot to have anyone better. Only by one. And he's not our son, so I think we'll keep him just for the heck of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, he'll stay as well. So it's basically just a matter of time, eventually. Wait, is he at one now? Who's he at war with? This guy is at war with this guy, for some reason. And why that is, I do not know. Is he allied with someone? It seems like it, and who is that? Oh, interesting, but he cannot call him into war. So that wouldn't affect me, even though he's the Duke of Barcelona. Wait, did they just take Barcelona? I think they did. Uh, who's that? My wife want to kill... Isn't that my son? Yes. I would prefer if he didn't do that. Look. That is not how things should go. Hello. Could you stop killing my son? Thank you. Anyways, guys, I think I'll be for this time. Thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. And a new bit is out.